We're going to look at setting up uh, Microsoft MDT with Server 2019. It's quite a simple process if you've ever used any kind of uh, Windows imaging software before. So let's jump straight in. Okay. First of all, you need to make sure that you've got Active Directory installed, Group Policies, and also make sure that you've got Windows Deployment Server installed. On top of that, you're going to need a few downloads, um, which you can get from here. You need the ADK installers and also the ADK WinPE installers alongside the MDT toolkit as well. Both of which, or all three of which, you can get from these download links, which I'll put in the video description as well. So when you've got these, they are quite small downloads, but this one particularly is quite a large download on top of this. It downloads around 6 gig, so be prepared if you've got a slower internet connection or you're testing at home with a slower connection on your test rig, um, be prepared for a, a reasonable size download. Once you've got all that installed, if we go ahead and open Deployment Workbench, From standard, uh, deployment workbench comes empty. There's nothing in there. You have to create your own deployment share. Uh, and you do that by right clicking on deployment share, click new deployment share, and just follow the wizard. So we can specify a location or a disk where we want to save the deployment share, whether you want to save it on the C drive or whether you want a dedicated disk. Of which I think I've already got one. So let's. Get rid of that. Okay. Um, keep the default deployment share name and the default descriptive name. Okay, so I'm not going to want to have MDT ask me for a computer backup or whether an image should be captured, and I'm not bothered about BitLocker. Um, all these options we're going to cover in the rules to make it as minimal touch as possible. Okay, so let that finish and go ahead and create the new, new deployment share. Good. Okay, so here's our new deployment share. Nothing in there at the moment, no task sequences, no operating systems. So the next step would be to add a new operating system. So right click on operating systems. Okay, so we're going to use a full set of source files, so a set of files come from the disk or from an ISO downloaded from Microsoft. You've also got the option to use um, a WIM, which you may have created yourself, or an existing WIM in WDS, but we're going to import the source files. So I will put in the Windows 1809 disk. Okay. And we need to specify the root of the DVD drive. Click Next. Follow through the wizard. That will now scan the disk and find the whims and import them into the deployment share. So we'll give that a few minutes to do what it wants to do. About finished now, a couple of percent left. So we'll just leave it to finish off. So you can see from the list that it's actually imported all the available WIMS off that CD and for the purpose of this we'll just go ahead and use the education version. So quite simple, we can just highlight the ones we don't want, right click, click on delete, click on next and that will then remove the WIMS that we're not going to use. Okay, so let's look at setting up our rules on the deployment share. So to get to that, it's right click on your deployment share, click on properties, and then got a couple of options down here. So we're not interested in installing x86 versions uh, of Windows, so we'll click on there and untick, and then click apply. Okay, so we've got some basic rules in here. Um, to get it working so that it's minimal touch, you're gonna wanna use a set of rules that kind of um, specifies all the questions for MDT. So I'll make this available for anybody who wants to use it. Just make the font a bit smaller so you can actually see. Okay, let's copy and paste this in. 
Right, okay, let's just quickly go through what these do. So, quite basic, quite straightforward. Skips computer backup, gives it a name. Uh, I don't think I need to go through them all, but the basic ones really. It sets the locale of the computer, of the keyboard. Sets a local admin password. Domain that you want to join. Domain administrator account or any administrator account. Domain password. I'm sure that's right or it won't join. Um, the machine OU when you actually want to put the, the computer account once it's joined. Uh, let's see. Uh, WSUS for if Windows is going to actually pull any updates during the install. And um, basically just a long list of what you want to skip. So whether you want to skip the certain parts um, of MDT. And to make it as minimal touch as possible, we're also going to skip the deployment sequence. So it doesn't ask us what deployment sequence we're going to use but also specify the deployment sequence that we do want to use. So for this purpose, we've called it 0001. Okay, click apply on there. So we also want to make sure that we've got a deployment root set as where as actual deployment is set as. Couple more options as well. So we don't want to generate an ISO for either or, we just literally want a, a whim to put in. And that's pretty much it for in there. Okay, so we've got our operating systems. Now we're gonna need a task sequence so that we can install Windows. So as before, we're gonna refer, refer back to the number we set in the deployment rules and call it 0001. Give it a friendly name. And we want to have a standard client task sequence. Select the operating system that we want to roll out. Uh, we don't want to specify a product key because we're going to use KMS. Give it a name. Not bothered about setting a home page because it's set by GPO. I'm uh, not bothered about setting a, a password because it sets it by the answer file. And that's now our task sequence that we've got with the correct ID. Good. Uh, one more step left. So we need to now create a, um, a boot image so we can actually boot to the, the deployment share. And we do that by right clicking on the deployment share, clicking update deployment share, and clicking completely, re completely regenerate the boot image. So I'll wait for that to finish and I'll be back to you in a couple of seconds. Right, okay, you can see that's done. Uh, click finish. Okay, so now we have got our boot image. We need to then open up Windows Deployment Server and Click on boot images and we need to specify the image we've just created. So if we look in where we specified C drive, deployment share and boot, and then you're left with this light touch PE. Go ahead and import that into WDS. Shouldn't take too long, this, uh, this step only takes about 30 seconds or so. Okay, and that's the final step. So now we're ready to boot an operating system or boot a PC to, to load an operating system. So let's bring up another virtual machine. Just check that we're booting to network adapter which we are, give it a start. <laughs> so standard pixie boot, enter when requested. So that'll go ahead and download, or run the WIM once it's downloaded, and we'll get a standard Windows deployment toolkit WIM PE.
Um, just a side note, if you do get this, this is when you've run previous deployments on the machine uh, and not completed them. So it's safe to ignore and just click yes. So it will prompt us for a username, password, and a domain. And after that, it will ask us for a computer name, which we'll specify as Windows 10.01. Click Next. Now that will go away, format the disk, install the operating system, and will be fully working um, the next time you touch it. OK, I'll pause the video for now until it's finished. OK, so for the purpose of the video, um, it was paused. It's been paused for about 10 minutes. Um, the operating system is now installed, uh, booted into Windows, just preparing Windows, and that's pretty much it now. Um, it'll be waiting at the login prompt, joined to the domain uh, with the name we gave it, already and working. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please comment, and I'll post some more as soon as I can. Cheers.